Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it, and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today, from the Volcane Cricket family, we're discussing the Volcane Cricket 1950s President's Watch, an important piece from an important brand with the historical niche of having been worn by most modern American presidents since the 1950s, and indeed, this this is a 1950s inspired watch, not a literal historic re-edition as is so popular in the industry these days, but it's a watch that sits in the spirit of its predecessors rather than basking in reflected glory, like a BMW Z8 reflects the best elements and the spirit of the 1950s 507 without plagiarizing it. That's exactly what this 50s President's watch does. 42 millimeters in stainless steel, it wears easily on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. It's a bit chunky at 14.8 millimeters thick, but you'll know because of the slope of the bezel and the domed profile of the sapphire, it will slide easily underneath the jacket cuff. Lug to lug, this one measures. 49.8 millimeters, and you'll find that it'll wear well on a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. As I said, a modern watch. A 22 millimeter lug spacing is anything but vintage, but it gives the watch a contemporary planted stance on the wrist. Jumping in real close, you can see that there is a handsome bolstered semi gloss black rectangular scale alligator leather strap and you can see it is nicely bolstered. There's quite a bit of body there to match the swell of the lugs. There's also a curved spring bar that allows the lugs to be drilled relatively close to the case without pinning the strap against the case flank. You can see how the strap has a full range of motion to pull around a smaller wrist. That's the pusher adjuster for the date on the flank. Jumping underneath you can see this is a Volcane factory strap in brand new condition. It's matched by a Volcane branded double deploying clasp with quite a bit of differential finish here as you have a combination of satin and polish, and then you open it up and there's internal engine turning, which, well, it wasn't expected, but it's handsome and much appreciated. The twin triggers ensuring absolute security against accidental deployment, and this is anything but a default design right there. Jumping back to the case band, you can see that it's surprisingly strong. Let's give ourselves a bit more light here, but they use a vertical satin finish rather than longitudinal, which is very different. You can see how the bezel is actually somewhat stepped below the plane of the lug hood, so the lug hood actually rides up to about halfway up the side of the bezel, allowing the watch to be thinner without cropping the lugs down. You can see that vertical satin finish contrasting with the polish of the bezel in the case back, and the lugs remarkably strong, strident, striking, angular, and Carrera-like even. You can see that they're nicely set out from the case, so there's a cleft between them. And then the faceting is executing with handsome character line breaks that give these almost a cut gem type of appeal. Jump into the bezel, you can see it's narrow and conical, and adjacent to a dramatically domed box section sapphire that creates some of the off-axis distortion you would expect from a vintage plexi. And it really does play up quite well in person, the distortion effect much appreciated. The dial, a metallic sunburst anthracite, so a sort of gray metallic and it features Dauphine hands at center, which have a little bit of a crease down their center to improve legibility against the dark base. You can see applique tri arabics 9, 12, and 3 with applique indices, and there's a handsomely stepped date aperture with black on white print for high contrast down at 6 o'clock. The dial is surprisingly deluxe, right down to the applique logo below the Volcane marquee. Now we're going to get a little bit closer because you're wondering about this watch's alarm, and I am going to set the alarm right now. There's a clutch at 2 o'clock. So rather than the JLC memo box where you have one crown for winding and setting the alarm, another for winding and setting the time, well here you have a clutch that allows the single crown to alternate between the two different functions. So you basically just look at the time. So it's about 9.19 right now and I'm going to approximate that. Make sure I get it. Go all the way around, when in doubt. Now as you can see, I'm in setting and winding mode so I can wind the darn thing and I can sustain it while the alarm is running. I think you've gotten the point. The basic architecture is, is somewhat archaic, and you can see, because of the way the alarm sets, only in one direction, and the watch is settable 
likewise only in one direction. You can't turn it backwards. So everything moves in a single direction when you're setting this watch. Now when the crown is in, you can actually wind in both directions. One mainspring barrel for the alarm, the other for the watch. So you wind in both directions with one crown. Now turning it all over, you can see the caliber and while historic Vulcan watches would not have featured a display case back, this is a contemporary timepiece. The case en enabling the watch to attain 50 meters water resistance, sufficient for a dress watch. You can see there's a large bridge style Vulcan logo over the base caliber, which is a Vulcan V21 automatic winding with unidirectional action and modern ceramic rotor bearings, so very efficient and low maintenance. 42 hour power reserve, it beats away at a vintage inspired, and one must say in this case, not so much a vintage inspired as a truly inherited 18,000 vibration per hour beat rate because this is a watch with a much older caliber architecture. It does feature a full balance bridge for stability, 36 joules. It is a rather deep and handsome movement, though you can't quite see all of it because of the winding bridge as well as the case back embellishment. It is a good looking caliber, mechanically finished but handsome and nicely styled with the twin mainspring barrels. It is a reliable tank tough tractor movement for this historically significant, intriguing and quite rare alarm watch. Shajira Lekult Memovox timepieces are quite literally a dime a dozen by rarity standards. They're everywhere. We never have more than about 12, 13, 14, even 15 in stock. Volcane, by comparison, that's an exclusive club, one that happens to include a few notable U.S. presidents. See this one and join the club on the Watchbox.